So one thing I've noticed with both streamers that have been streaming for a long time or people that are just getting into streaming is that they really don't know what resolution they want to be streaming at or that they should be streaming at. So let's figure that out. Hey, what's up everybody? Dimitri of Kata Gaming here. And today we're going to go over what resolution you should be streaming at for the content that you like to stream on Twitch, as well as the tier of streamer you are, whether you're a non-affiliate, affiliate or partner and the reasons that different resolutions are better at different tiers. If you end up finding anything in this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like to subscribe. It really helps me out. If you want to be notified of future videos, hit the bell icon as well. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. Really looking forward to it. And uh, let's just hop right into the video. So first off, let's hit the different tiers of Twitch streamers. Whether you are a non-affiliate, an affiliate, or a partner, you get some different tools available to you um, for your stream specifically that depend on those tiers. So as a non-affiliated Twitch streamer, you get a 6,000 kilobit per second max bit rate. As an affiliate streamer, you get the same 6,000 kilobit per second max uh, bit rate, but you also get what's kind of called like a Q transcoding, where if they have transcoding space available, you will get transcoding on your stream, but it's not guaranteed. As a partner, you get 8,500 kilobits per second, and you always get transcoding. Transcoding can be extremely important because it allows people to watch your stream at a lower resolution than what you're streaming at. So if their internet isn't good enough to consistently watch what you're streaming, they can watch it at a reduced resolution. And you'll see that when you go into a stream and you click the little cog wheel, you can change the resolution to whatever you want, but on some affiliate streams and non-affiliated streams, for sure, you will not have that option at all. So your upload speed is also gonna be very important. And so keep in mind that 6,000 kilobits per second is six megabits per second upload. So if your internet is just around six uh, megabits per second, I would highly suggest you don't go with 6,000 kilobits per second bit rate. You don't want your upload on your bitrate to saturate your entire bandwidth. Um, it'll cause a lot of instability. So what I highly suggest you do is one, figure out your upload speed from your provider, and then two, set the uh, bitrate that you'd like to use, ideally the maximum 6,000 kilobits per second as an affiliate or non-affiliate, and then 8,500 as a partner and then use the test bandwidth mode with an OBS and Twitch inspector to keep an eye on the stability and make sure that you are able to consistently stream at that bit rate. So what are the ideal resolutions? So given that you're able to stream at that maximum bit rate for your tier, at an affiliate or non-affiliate position, 720p 60 frames per second for High speed, fast gameplay like first person shooters is going to be your best bet. If you want to have a higher fidelity stream, but your stream is mainly just chatting or um, just slower paced gameplay, you can go with something like 936p and 30 frames per second. As a Twitch partner though, with that extra bandwidth and bitrate that you're, you're allotted, you can go with 936 and 60 frames per second, and you can use that for all content. So why 936p instead of 1080p? So the important thing is that 936p is divisible by eight. X264 and H264, which are the encoders that you use to stream to Twitch, do it in an eight bit depth. So you want your total resolution to be divisible by eight, and it makes it a very big difference you'll notice with a lot of the big uh, fps players on twitch you'll see them playing at 936p um, people who maybe are just doing just chatting are probably using 1080p because it doesn't really matter to them all that much but having the 936p allows for a much more crisp looking stream um, it's much sharper looking and having the full bit be able to do um with no leftovers no trash bits 
being sent over, um, the stream is much more consistently looking really good. Flom talks about this a lot on his streams. Shroud's talked about it a few times as well. And they talk about their, their importance of using 936p. So again, going back to the 720p versus 936, really keep in mind that going 936p is more than one and a half times the amount of pixels at a time. And you have to think of your bit rate like a tube. And if you're trying to send more stuff into that tube um, than can actually properly fit, the quality that comes out the other end is not gonna be as great. So that's why the 720p60 is better. You can do 936, 60 at 6,000 kilobits per second, but it's gonna look a little pixelated. It's not gonna look as sharp. It's not gonna look as crisp. So I highly suggest you try going to 720, 60 or 936 and 30 frames per second if you want a better looking stream as a non-partnered Twitch streamer. Now, in certain situations where you won't want to stream at that maximum bit rate, other than your upload speed not being able to handle it, is your audience. So if your audience is in an area of the world where their internet speeds aren't as great, you may want to consider using a lower bit rate and a lower resolution because if they are not able to watch your stream consistently, then you're going to lose that viewership. So if you stream mainly to people in Australia or to people just in countries where the average is, you know, 10 megabits per second or lower, you're going to really want to keep that in mind. It's not the biggest thing to consider because most people are going to be streaming to people in the US, for example, and in Europe where, you know, internet is pretty good and 10 megabits per second is pretty common and above. So you don't really have to worry too much, but it is something to keep in mind. And I highly suggest you keep that under consideration. Another thing to keep into consideration is your audio. So the nice thing is as a non-affiliate or an affiliate streamer, audio is not considered for a part of your maximum bit rate. So you can stream at 192 kilobits per second, 256 kilobits per second, or 320 kilobits per second. Those are the most common. I stream at 256 kilobits per second, but if you are a musician or a DJ or your stream just focuses a lot more on the audio, streaming at 320 kilobits per second, audio is gonna be more beneficial for you, so I highly suggest you do that. As a partner, however, that is factored into the maximum 8500, so you're gonna to have to keep that in mind when you do choose your audio bit rate. I highly suggest you do the recommended 192 or the 256. Only do the 320 if, again, your stream focuses on audio. And for a quick recording tip, um, you know, you're gonna want to record at the highest fidelity that you can, the highest resolution that you can. And if you're streaming at 720p, but your computer is at 1080 or 1440p, you're gonna want to record at 1080p, for example. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do that. So in your computer here, you're gonna to go to your settings. You're gonna to go to your video. You're gonna make sure that it's 1080, that it's the same resolution on your base canvas and your output. But then when you go to your output, you're gonna rescale your stream to whatever resolution you're gonna stream at. So 720p, um, for example, is what I would do. 720p60, that's what I currently stream at. And that way your recording is still gonna be at 1080, but your stream is gonna be at 720. So it allows you to downscale the stream, but keep your recording as high quality as you can. And that's really it. So depending on what tier you're at, and depending on what type of content that you're gonna be streaming, 720p60, 936.30, or 936.60 are gonna be your best resolutions for streaming to Twitch. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, Feel free to leave those in the comment section below. If you found any of this helpful, I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe, it really helps me out. I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me there and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday.